Hi, welcome back to my workbench. I recently came across a couple of these electromechanical pulse relays or step relays, and I found the internal workings fascinating. So let's take them apart and see how it works on the inside. So the impulse power comes in here, so line and neutral, the polarity doesn't matter. And it powers this coil, which acts as a solenoid and pulling this piece of metal right here. And as this piece of metal is actuated, it rotates this cam by one increment. The middle of the cam is what gets actuated by the solenoid, and the outside of the cam, in this case the left side, is what does the actual switching. So the contactor acts like a spring in itself. It has a little notch, and the notch corresponds, in this case, to a valley on this cam gear, I guess. If it's in the valley, then the contactor is closed. But if I actuate it, the notch of this contactor arm is engaging one of the peaks on this cam. So the contact is broken. Quite a, an elegant solution because I'm so used to transistors, MOSFETs. Uh, I, I was... <laughs> I was quite silly to expect any sort of semiconductor or microcontroller in, in a device like this. This is much more simple and reliable. So I have another one which looks identical, but it has two contacts on the inside. And as I actuate it, the left one closes, then the left one opens, then the right one closes, then the right one opens. So the two work independently. This has the similar cam and gear profiles, except the cam lobes are slightly different. And you can easily imagine that depending on what kind of switching pattern you want, you choose the cam lobes accordingly. And if we take a look at the box, we have the different model numbers and the different switching patterns. These are designed to go into junction boxes and installation boxes like these. So these have a, an additional depth to them. These are plastered in a wall. And uh, this pulse relay goes in like that. You add your wires and push it all the way down. I said all the way down and your switch or receptacle or whatever goes on top and is held in place by little claws or screws. So here's a different kind of pulse relay which is mounted in a circuit breaker cabinet. I think it has a similar mechanism but it can be actuated manually so if you imagine that this is in a breaker cabinet, you only see this face and you can actuate it manually if need to. Not quite sure how they solved the problem of manual and electronic switching at the same time. So I would like to disassemble this. Fortunately, I have a special rivet removal tool. I think I figure it out, figured English, thank you. I think I figured it out how it works. So the manual lever just operates this gray plastic part. So that engages and disengages the contacts. So in normal operation, or should I say in manual operation, the electromagnet doesn't do anything. So you can switch it and you don't actually actuate the electromagnet. But if the electromagnet closes, this metal part pulls this entire mechanism forward. And let me get a pointing device. So this piece of plastic pushes against this gray piece of plastic. 
and this has a v-shaped notch on the inside I'll take it apart and show you like that and if it's in one orientation like say this is the closed position it pushes on this side since the this little arm goes up against this v-shaped block and pushes in this corner rotating it and it goes back and if the electromagnet is actuated again then it goes on the other side of this little v-shaped block and rotates it in the opposite direction so basically the electromagnet is actuating up oh, this is magnetic right the electromagnet is actuating the, the manual part of this mechanism it's quite clever actually what is this? What is this for? Some sort of shaded pole? So, thanks for watching and I hope you appreciate me taking stuff apart and ruining perfectly good equipment just to learn something. So, thanks. Bye. Shit. I mean... Fixed.